Hey folks, it's Ben. I'm here with another unboxing. Um, we went ahead and purchased uh, a countertop stainless steel uh, countertop ice maker. I said countertop like eight times, not just eight. But anywho, uh, it's from Frigidaire. We bought it at Canadian Tire, but I believe it's also brand available from Walmart, especially in the States. So either one. We have a fridge uh, that does have an ice maker, but our tap water is so gross. We don't want to drink ice from it, so we needed something that's a little more convenient. So that's why we got this thing. So we're going to unbox it now. We're going to cut across the top because that seems safe all the time. Uh, this particular model, uh, where we can get it, comes in three colors: stainless steel, white, and copper. So we picked the white, uh, the copper one, because it's kind of the theme we're going with right now. Uh, in the kitchen, between uh, we've got some copper things that are going on, so. with three cuts on the top. We'll open up. And the first thing we're greeted by is a power cord. It's friendly. Um, from a little research that we've done on the internet, and long story short, it's been sitting in this position for several hours now, but if you were to rock it or have it fall over, you would need to wait two hours to let the refrigerant settle back down. But as long as we keep this thing in the proper orientation, we should be able to go right away. So we got a power cord here, and then we have uh, the Frigidaire ice maker. This is a 26 pounds, which means it in theory could make 26 pounds of ice in one day. Uh, my understanding is as long as you keep emptying the ice tray, it could do that. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is actually bring the box to the ground. And then I'm going to try to uh, lift it up because once again, I don't wanna, those are fake. don't want to change its orientation so it's kind of got indents on the side and the box is kind of being a dink. There we go. So we're good there and the rest of the box is empty. It's fairly nicely wrapped. It's got tape around the bottom so we're going to hack that up with some more knifing. I guess we'll just pop it open first. Peeling the sides away. And then lifting it up and out. There we go. So, styrofoam's out of the way. Now we're just wrapped in this papery styrofoam. There's a piece of tape across the top. Okay. And here's the end game. It is indeed a copper model, so that's handy. I'm going to cut the tape off the power cord here so I can get that away. It looks like there's some more tape back here. Lots of tape. Now, my understanding of the operation of these units is that you like turn it on in the morning and it would make you ice for the day and then you turn it off at night. You don't need to run it all the time. Um, We'll need to wash the parts so they get lose their plastic smell. And there's some tape holding the little tray here. It's a neat way how it operates is you actually pour the water in the base of the tray. So this, uh, this is the water compartment. And then your ice actually from the ice maker comes in and sits here. So if it melts, it just goes back into the water and gets recycled. Uh, and then it's got another little ice scoop here. My understanding is if when they do work, some people have, they'll quit after a little bit. So keep your receipt, they work great. And we've got some work to do on the flapper here, but those little fingers that come down here, uh, they all sit in a pool of water. They get really cold and ice forms around them. Then they must get hot real quick. They drop the ice and a little paddle comes out and pushes it into the tray here. So that's the basic principle of how it works, I think. Um, and itself looks very pretty. Um, it's very coppery, like, it's, that's fantastic. I bet you the, the loudest part of it's gonna be the fan uh, for the uh, coil. And yeah, there's a compressor right there, and it's very pretty, so it'll it'll look fine on our cupboard with all our- Very small profile. Yeah, it's kind of deep, which is handy, because we'll stick it either next to the microwave or next to the toaster oven or something like that. Um, it has, on the top, from what I've seen, and add water light, so if the water level gets low, if it's detected that it's full of ice, it'll have a light if it's on, and then the size selector, which is either small or large. Most people run it on large, 
uh, but the small pieces will actually go and fit into the little neck of a drinking bottle or you know, sort of a, a one liter bottle, that sort of thing. So if you wanted to drop some ice into a bottle, the small size is what you want. And then just for drinks, uh, it is hollow ice. So it's ice around with a hole in it, but that's just how it's made. And my understanding is, is that it makes ice very quickly. So we're gonna go ahead and wash it. Um, as the manual says, we'll read it real quick and then we'll come back and we'll plug it in and see how she does for the, I guess it takes like nine minutes to do ice, so we'll try it. Filled with water, we're gonna drop the basket in it. We took the tape off the, the auger here too and the tape off the, the tray and the holder here. So we'll close the lid. So you plug it in, water, turn it on, and large is the size we want for ice. Right out of the gate here. So back up, it's doing stuff. Now a little pump is running. You can't see anything. Yeah, it's filling the tray up. So uh, that's pretty cool. It's making worry noises. Okay. So it'll fill up. And then things will presumably start running. Oh, oh now you see water. That's cool. And we use uh, water that's been uh, borrowed, reverse osmosis. Um, if you live in an area with lots of uh, minerals. minerals and things, that probably would be good for it. So uh, it could be worth the while to buy a bottle of water just so your ice is nice and it keeps your machine clean. There it goes. So it's got like a little computer fan on the side here. And so it's running. Looks like it's exhausting air, so it's pulling air across the coil and... Can you hear us? Not that loud. No. Nope. Another place we could put it is the pantry, like we have it here, but we put it in the pantry. We want to put it somewhere near. The container itself is not refrigerated, so the ice will eventually melt on its own if you don't get it out soon enough. So you take the ice from the tray and you put it into like a bucket or something in your freezer itself. So uh, this is a Frigidaire model and we'll come back with some ice. Not sure if you can see it very well, but you see that little like, you see the finger sticking in the water and then the clearness by it, that's ice actually forming. Like this is the first blocks it's ever created, but uh, you can see it form as it gets created. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Just to see here and watch that clear ice get bigger and bigger. Um, and then we'll hopefully catch it on its first inject. Crack. Cool. Well, Heats a little bit, I bet. It's clear, it's quite clear, you know? Yeah, like, it's super uh, clear. Super! Awesome. Cool. So fun. that's our box unboxing. If you guys have any questions on any of this, go ahead and let us know. We're going to do a review on it after we use it for a while. We got the slushy machine ready to go anyway. Uh, and uh, please subscribe to our channel, Red Barn Homestead, for more exciting unboxing videos of various appliances that we've purchased through time. And uh, we'll see you next time.